Okay, so today we're going to try making cheese baked potatoes. Uh, so I have the insides of some baked potatoes. These are just baked potatoes. I um, put them in the oven at 350 for about an hour. Flip them halfway through. Just to stick some holes in them. I don't put any olive oil or really salt or anything on them. I suppose you can, depending on the crunchiness that you want. But otherwise, just go ahead and bake them in the oven. Wait for them to cool. <laughs> or put on enough glove, I suppose. And then uh, you're going to scoop them out. Just to try not to go through the skins. And that's where we are now. So this is my potato that I've scooped out. And we are going to mash it up a little bit. Add some salt. Just a couple of cracks, which I already did. I'm just going to pretend to do that right now for you. Crack, crack, there's a salt. Because <laughs> that's the kind of cooking video this is. And then we got some pepper. And uh, hopefully there's some in here. There never seems to be pepper in here. I don't know. Now this isn't exactly my mother's recipe, of course. I'm going to switch it up to my own, you know, ways as I do. And, um, yeah, I'm going to mix that in nice and good. And you can make whole trays of these great big batches of them and take them to parties and you'll be very, very popular. Okay, I'm going to grab a few things and I'll be back. Okay, so what I did is I went outside to the garden. I got some chives and I grabbed my blue cheese dressing because I don't actually have any physical blue cheese here right now, unfortunately. And just put my potato skins on a pan which, in all full disclosure, I did pick up after leaving on the element and I burnt myself. So that wasn't much fun. Ow. Um, but I just, you know, want to be honest. But the main thing for me is that cooking is easy. I don't want to make it a 17-step process, you know. Chill your egg whites in the fridge for three days. I have no interest in that. All I want to do is eat food that's tasty and easy. So to that end, I'm going to just record them, put them out there for you guys, and hopefully some of you will find some recipes that you like, that you try, that you, you know, learn that there's really not rules as far as what you want to do. You come to learn that. Now put those potatoes aside, grate some cheese. That it's all about your taste. As long as you cook things to the right temperature, you don't kill yourself. But it's all to you, you know? What do you like? Do you like cheese? Do you like chives? Do you like chicken? What do you like? Do you like spices? You know. You decide. Okay. I'm gonna throw a little parm in there too because why is in the oven? Not too much. It's really salty cheese. Okay. Now. There we go. Ah. Dun 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 the oven is nearly already. See, look at, oh, I burnt myself. Silly lady. All right, so I'm not gonna do that again. Am I making, what am I doing here? I'm not making potato skins, so I'm not quite ready to go. Sorry, I'm confusing myself today. <coughs> anyway, we're gonna do this. We're going to add some blue cheese dressing, and all of this, again, is gonna be to taste. If you've ever followed any of my recipes, you know one thing. There's no recipe. It's just up to you. So I got the blue cheese dressing in there. So we're doing a twice stuffed baked potato, I think, as they call it these days. If you go to like an M&M &M Meats or something, you can get a twice baked potato. We used to make them back in the day. We called them just cheese baked potatoes. Because that's all we put in them. Right, Mom? Anyway. 
here's my chives from the garden. I find the easiest way to deal with chives is with a pair of scissors. And that noise you hear, that licking noise you hear, obviously, is the one and only Cooper. Always underfoot. And don't mix your chives up with your uh, decorative plants. That's not really supposed to be here. Um, we're just, as you know, getting ready for Christmas. And that means we have a lot of random things in spots where they should not be. So in here right now I've got salt, pepper, blue cheese dressing, chives. I'm going to go ahead and add some butter. Now you can melt this butter if you like. That is up to you. I am too lazy. Like a mashed potato, right? Make it like a mashed potato. Okay, thank you, Cooper. I think Cooper approves of what I'm making. Mm. Tastes good already, and I haven't even added most of the cheese. Lovely. All right. Mm. That's going to be a problem. Do you know how often I point this finger at things? <laughs> Not really. My pointer's broken. telling us that the oven is really and truly ready. So mix this all in. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, so can I touch this pan yet? I don't want to touch it again. I'm too scared. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our potato skins. Now, you can do potato skins. You do not have to do this. You can just take your potato skins just like this. And you can eat these. What I do is I make baked potatoes um, one night for dinner. And, you know, most people don't eat the skins. They just leave them. So I ask my darling husband to please be gentle with his skins. And I'm the same with mine. And then we eat our baked potato like a normal person. And then the next day I make potato skins and it's 1990 all over again. Woohoo! Um... <laughs> But today, uh, I was inspired after speaking with my mom last night when we made dinner together. And uh, <clears throat> she had made these, and I wanted them now, so I have to have them. Now, she normally puts sour cream in these. I added the blue cheese, so I'm not going to do that. And I am going to add a little bit more cheese, blue cheese, because they just don't feel that creamy to me. There we go. It's a really nice, this is a really nice blue cheese dressing. And the problem with it is, is that even though they've made the hole really big, there's still chunks of blue cheese in there that are so big that they can't get through the hole. So you'll be squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and all of a sudden it'll go bloop. And I'll go on them all at once. Okay. So. I think we're good. I think we are ready to start stuffing, baby. Now, I don't know if we're going to have enough to do all of these. And probably we won't. So maybe what we'll do is we'll do some of these and a potato skin just for me. There we go. Now that wasn't hard. You can stuff the daylights out of them if you want. I'm just going to try to make this go to three if I can. If I can. And one other way I could have extended this was I do have a piece of chicken breast left over and I could have very easily shredded that up and put it in here. Maybe I should do that. It's buffalo chicken. <gasps> Maybe I should do that. Oh, what to do, what to do. Let's leave that. I'm going to do it to one. Okay, so we have this nice, big, beautiful piece of chicken here that I made last night. Buffalo chicken. I'm just going to grab that. Probably a little more than I need. And I just want to make it small because I don't want it to be obnoxious in there. This is going to be so yummy. Okay, now I'm tempted to take the other two apart and do the same thing with them. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of feel like I have to. Okay. We've got a bat track. I'll leave one natural. I'll leave one natural. Okay, that seems fair. And then that's nice. We got protein in there, and potato, dairy. It's a complete meal when you think about it. Okay, my hands are really dirty, and now I've got buffalo sauce all over me. 
so that feels great on my burn. So I think I'm going to go and wash. Okay, I think that's good. I think we're good. All right, now, back where we were. I'll show you one day how I make my buffalo chicken in the oven. It's super, super simple. Like, honestly, as long as you have their sauces, it's so easy and it's really yummy. And we make it all of the time, like all of the time, because it's nice to have something like that. Make it with rice, make it with potatoes. And then I shred it all up in the sauce and away we go. All right. So, that is cheese baked potatoes. And we have one extra skin. So, let's go. Let's go. Okay. We're just going to make a regular cheese baked potato out of this one. And that is super simple. So, take some of this cheese. Dun, 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 dun. And it's going to be pretty much the same ingredients. Just a little less. Okay, I really do want to make sure that I have my chives and not whatever that cactus plant is over there. <laughs> Maybe we'll put a few more on here too. Why not? Why not? Why waste a good thing that Mother Nature gave you? So that's that. And then I am going to put some chicken on there. A little bit of chicken, do, 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 do. and there's two incredibly hopeful little dogs down there on the floor, and they aren't getting any because uh, if he's allergic to chicken poo, I'm a bet he's allergic to chicken. So I think that's it. We're gonna put some cheese on top. And we're gonna bake these in the oven. 350. Oh gee, I don't know for how long. I'm gonna have to ask my mom. Especially just until the cheese is melted and they're nice and warm. Um, I don't know, say 350 for 20 minutes? Maybe 25? Depends on where you are too, because remember, I am at very sea level. I'm a foot below sea level, so be different where you are. So there we go. Maybe a little crack of black pepper on each just for fun. And this is going to get a squidge of blue cheese dressing. Okay, that was more than I wanted to put on there, but that's okay. There's never too much blue cheese. All right, there we go. Cheese baked potatoes, and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, let's see what we get with oven mitt this time so you don't burn yourself. Yay! Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. So these are buffalo chicken, cheese, blue cheese, chive, potato, double st or twice stuffed potatoes. And this is a potato skin. So if you were never around in the 90s, this is what potato skins looked like. They were served with sour cream sometimes salsa depending on which pub you went to anyway um these having chicken on them was like you know that was special <laughs> so, well, i'm gonna go ahead and eat this for my lunch today i'm gonna probably have a cheese baked potato and i'm gonna have the chicken or the cheese uh, potato skin for sure and i'm gonna have that with a caesar salad and that's gonna be my meal super super easy you saw how easy that was uh, give them a try and if you do let us know because mom's been making these for years and years and years and uh, Now I make them and now you can make them too. See you later everybody. Hope you have a great day